Hey guys, this video is going to walk you through Google Calendar and, and how to create your own calendar, how to create events, how to edit events, how to share calendars, and how to change some settings and, and use labs, that, that sort of stuff. I'll try to make it pretty quick. So right now I'm logged into a Gmail account and you have to be logged into your Gmail account as well to access your calendars. So once you're logged in, you'll find calendars up here under this button that looks like a gray Rubik's Cube. Click on calendar. Once you do that, you can see that I already have some events set up. You'll also notice that by default it takes me to the week view. You can also go to day, month, agenda, etc. Uh, but for right now, let's go to month. You can see all my events for the month. And I have a couple calendars. Uh, I have my my calendar, which is probably the same as the one that's called uh, your name. So it probably has your name right here. I also have a PE log calendar as a sample calendar. And down here is my other calendars. For instance, any ones I, that you want to add, uh, some, you can browse interesting calendars or important calendars and add some of those. One of them is US Holidays. To turn calendars on and off, uh, or to hide them, you just click on them. You can see the calendars disappear or reappear. Uh, all right, we're going to add one more calendar. Uh, you should have one waiting for you in your inbox if you haven't read it already. So in your inbox, if you don't see one called calendar, and you may have gotten an email a while ago, so if you search, if you don't see it, do a search for the word calendar. Press enter, and every email that you've ever received that has the word calendar in it will, should pop up in there. And there's one that's from calendar at odysseyk12.org. If you click on that one, you'll see that uh, someone has shared with you the Odyssey School Calendar. Click right here where it says Add the Calendar. Yes, Add this Calendar. And what you'll see is the calendar is added right here. Okay? And now you see a couple new events in the calendar. So, if you don't want to show those, you can again click on it to hide it. Click on it again to show it if you want to. All right, that's the that's one thing I want you to do for this for this assignment is add this calendar to your calendars. Uh, the other thing is I want you to create an event, and it's going to be a weekly event that reoccurs until the end of the school year, and that event is the day you come to school. Okay, and I've already done it once right here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click on this one and delete it because I'm going to start over. I'm going to delete all the events in the all the events in that series. Now they're all gone. Now let me show you from scratch how to create an event. All right, let's pretend that uh, I'm a Wednesday student and I come at 8 a.m. So I click on Wednesday 8 a.m. and I'm going to put school day. And you could click create event right here. But I, uh, I like to go straight to edit event because if you create an event right here, this is gonna, it's going to call it a full day event. And let's be a little more specific. So I'm going to click edit. And instead of being an all day event, it starts at 8. We're going to go till noon. This event's going to repeat. Uh, it repeats weekly, every Wednesday. When is it going to end? We're going to pick a date. We're going to make it end on June 6th because then that's when school is done completely. So this calendar, this event will, will repeat on your calendar until June 6th. You click done and save and you'll see it pop up here but if we go to the month view you see it's it continues. If you click agenda uh, you can see the school day pops up once a week. Okay, let's go back to a month long view. So those are the, the two things I want you to do for this assignment. I want you to add an Odyssey school calendar uh, and I also want you to uh, add your school day. Uh, let me show you a couple other tricks while I have you watching this video. Uh, let's go over to here and uh, go to settings and under settings let's go to labs 
there's a bunch of labs you can add. So you can you can customize how your Google Calendar works. These are labs that certain people have have created. One that I like is the one that hides morning and night. Because if we go back to your calendar, calendar, let's go to day mode or even week mode, you'll see it starts at, it may start early like 3 a.m., goes till late. You may not want to your calendar, calendar to start that early. It's just more you have to scroll through. So if you go to labs and enable hide morning to night, for instance, click save. Now you can adjust when it starts or ends. So you can click right here and now drag where it starts and ends. So you don't have as much to see. So it's kind of a cool option. And there's a lot more labs to choose from and look through. But I just want to show you at least one. Also, I'm going to go to settings, calendars, and this is where you unsubscribe. So if you want to unsubscribe from the holiday calendar, cal calendar, you click right here. And now you're not going to see that one anymore. Go back to calendars, and that one's gone. All right. If you want to share one of your calendars with someone, you click right here. Share calendar. Type in their email address, uh, and then your colleague or friend can see that calendar. Okay, if you're one of my students, I want you to turn this in. How are you going to do that? Well, one way is if you go up to More and Print, and you click Save As, you can save this uh, this calendar as a PDF and send it to me. Just make sure the calendar is showing the month view and that I can see that you've done multiple school days in there because I, I want to make sure I can give you full credit and also make sure I can see that you added the Odyssey school calendar to your list of calendars. The other way, if that way is not working for you, just use this, the screenshot option. Just use print screen uh, and then send me the screenshot of your calendar. Either way, upload it into Moodle and I'll grade it as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. Take care.